drawings myself, and then later on I brought in some really, really great artists, um, mostly from the fine art world, not really from the movie world. And then uh, it really became a process of how to realize that on screen. And, and um, I don't think you can speak to that. But, uh, uh, <clears throat> but, but you know, it, it was a design process that, especially now, it's so amazing in the, in the digital world, that continued right into post-production. Maybe. Does anyone want to know about the special? That, that was yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. I'm sure you do. Right? an extension. Offer her a question. It's just how did you guys actually pull her into the film? Okay, great. Was it a lot of CGI? Was it a girl in makeup? What was going on there? Uh, Dren um, existed in various forms throughout the film. Um, obviously, the, the newborn baby, all the way through to the uh, child, to the adolescent Dren, to, to fully female Dren and male Dren. Um, Baby Dren was completely computer generated, uh, um, done by a company in Paris called Woof. Uh, they were a great partner on the film. Um, and then as Dren evolved past that stage, uh, we had a fantastic child actress by the name of Abigail Chu, who is a uh, Canadian nationally ranked martial arts expert. Um, she's about that tall. Uh, and what we were looking for um, was somebody, some, a, a child who had a screen presence but could uh, I guess move their body in a way that a normal kid couldn't. They had to fly through the air and do tumbles and all that kind of stuff. And oddly enough, in this, this dojo that we were training Delphine, our, our, our female uh, uh, adult in, uh, the uh, master of the dojo recommended this that we take a look at this child. So we did on YouTube, and she was amazing, and she was auditioned, and she got the part. Um, so Abby um, became child Um Obviously, the legs are CG, the tail is CG. But the one thing that most people really don't realize is everything except for her mouth uh, and, and her chin on her head, that is all computer generated. Uh, what we did is we, we put a prosthetic head in, a, in very much the same shape as the CG head, which uh, the prosthetic head was made by uh, KNB, which is a Los Angeles company. They, did the, uh, uh, they won the uh, Academy Award for makeup effects on um, Narnia. Uh, so they came and put that prosthetic head. They gave us sort of a, a version of what the CG head was gonna look like in lighting conditions for the cinematographer and all that. But that was all completely replaced so that we put the eyes on the side, the eyes get blank, it would have proper motion. And then as Brent evolved from that stage into adolescent and, and uh, uh, adult, um, Delphine Chaniak, who formed the foundation of the creature in sort of every level. Um, and she did uh, uh, rehearsals for the animators as the child Brent, as the, as the baby Brent. But she was the foundation for, for the adult Brent. And, uh, uh, her legs obviously get CG, um, tail CG, finger removed. I don't know how many people actually, actually see, a lot of people don't actually mention that they've seen the finger gone. The Dren only had three fingers and a thumb. Um, so when you see the movie again, which you inevitably will, um, after you recover from this screen, uh, you'll take a look, you'll see that she only had three fingers. Um, so removal, removal of the finger, and then we also digitally separated her eyes. So we had a CG version of her head. It was tracked onto Delphine's real face, for every single frame that she was in, and then the eyes were in that 3D world, moved off to the side, and then it was recomposited back on top of the real footage. And it was a technique that worked absolutely flawlessly, so we were able to get that eye separation, that eye rotation. And Chento and I were able to sit in front of the computer with the artist and say, no, make the eyes a little bit further apart, rotate them a little bit more obliquely. And it was, a, I think, a, you know, a subtle effect, but a very um, successful effect in that. And then, of course, on to male Dren, at which point she became, for a number of shots, fully CG all over again, especially when she attacked Clive. Uh, so, again, a variety of techniques to, to realize the creature. And one of the things that Vincenzo said that was very, very true is some of the thing, I'd say 90% of the creature was designed and resolved and all the issues and, 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 and challenges were figured out before we went into production. The 10% were a real challenge, even in the post-production, we got a lot of time in post-production. The wings, for example. We, didn't, we weren't quite sure how the wings were going to move, how they were going to retract, how it was going to feel dynamic and believable. Um, so that, that kind of plagued us all the way right to the very end. There was a shot that we delivered, I think, on the final day that you were doing color timing for the final retraction of the wings. I mean, it was that, we pushed, pushed it that close. But one of the things that I am proudest of, and it's all the animators at, at uh, our, our company in Toronto called Core Digital Pictures, they brought to it, if you take a look at, look at the movie one more time, you'll see the tail is an extension of Dren's emotions in every single shot she's in. There's a, there's a great shot to, to, to kind of, um, uh, I 
think, illustrates that best, where she is angry after she's felt the word tedious and outside. She stands up, she starts throwing things around, and then she knocks over the book to the, uh, the, the, the shelf. You'll see that she's defiant at that moment. Her stance is defiant. The tail moves in a defiant way. And then when she's yelled at by Clive and Elsa, and she, they push her down to the chair, the tail wraps around her leg, and she, she goes from, from defiant to submissive, not only in her body posture and in her performance, but also in the tail. So every single shot that she was in, the tail was an extension of her emotions. So the creature was designed, as, as Vincenzo pointed out, from a number of different uh, inspirations in the natural world, but then also defined by the creative talent that worked on her for many, many months after the film was shot to put on the screen what you guys saw tonight. Short. <laughs> you don't need to know anything else. 
And I spent fellows should do the same thing with Elsa. Like, you know, 